तो ये अपना नेक्स्ट लेक्चर है सुपर कंडक्टिविटी का और टॉपिक है फ्लक्स क्वांटाइजेशन सो वी नो दैट हाउ डायमेटिकली मैग्नेटिक फील्ड चेंजेस थ्रू अ रिंग अपने लास्ट लेक्चर में पढ़ा था कि किस तरीके से मैग्नेटिक फील्ड जो है ट्रैप्ड हो जाता है पहले एक रिंग है जब टी क्या है ग्रेटर देन टी सी है मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑफ लाइन्स का पैटर्न ये होता है लेकिन जैसे ही टेम्परेचर जो है क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर से कम करते हैं तो एक्सटर्नल मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ज़ीरो हो जाता है लेकिन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑफ लाइंस जो है ओपनिंग रीजन के अंदर रिंग का जो ओपनिंग रीजन है उसमें कुछ इस तरीके से ट्रैप्ड हो जाती हैं ठीक है थीके? तो अभी अपन पढ़ेंगे क्वान्टाइजेशन की जो मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स है वो भी क्वान्टाइज क्वान्टिटी है सो लेट साई ऑफ आर बी द पार्टिकल बेसिकली यहाँ पे क्या इलेक्ट्रॉन होंगे पार्टिकल प्रोबेबिलिटी एम्पलीट्यूड एंड साई स्टार साई इज इक्वल्स टू एन एंड एन ही रिप्रेजेंटिंग पार्टिकल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ओके सो वी मे राइट द वेव फंक्शन साई इज इक्वल्स टू मोड ऑफ साई एक्सपोनेंशियल आयोटा थीटा थीटा इज नथिंग बट फेज ओके और वी कैन राइट साई इक्वल्स टू अंडर रूट ऑफ एन बिकॉज मॉड ऑफ साई कितना हो जाएगा एन एक्सपोनेंशियल आयोटा थीटा नाउ वी नो दैट मोमेंटम फॉर अ चार्ज पार्टिकल फॉर अ चार्ज पार्टिकल इज गिवन बाय चार्ज पार्टिकल जो है जो मूव कर रहा है उसके लिए जो मोमेंटम है अपन ने क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स के अंदर पढ़ा हुआ है ये मोमेंटम जो है हो जाता है एम वी इन प्लस क्यू इन टू ए Here we can take effective mass and effective charge. Mass and effective charge. Actually, in uh, superconductors, and there occur uh, pairs of electron that is called Cooper pair, and we will discuss it later. Okay. Now in quantum mechanics. P is nothing but minus iota h cut del, so minus iota h cut del equals to m star v. Here we can take v as here subscript s represent super electron drift velocity of super electron. K star a. If we consider wave function, then minus iota h cut gradient psi m star v s plus q star a psi. Okay, so here minus iota h cut and del psi equals to M star V S plus Q star A and psi. Let equation number two. Since psi is equal to nothing but mod of psi exponential iota theta, so gradient of psi कितना हो जाएगा? Mod of psi क्या है? Amplitude है, कुछ number आएगा, constant आएगा, तो इसपे gradient का कोई मतलब नहीं है. 
exponential at a theta uh, exponential at a theta then operate on exponential at a theta at a theta iota and gradient of theta put this value here so this is nothing but psi so gradient psi is equals to iota gradient theta and psi so i am putting this value here so minus iota h cut psi gradient theta equals to m star vs plus q star a psi this psi will cancel out by this psi so here sorry minus iota h cut into iota del theta equals to m star vs plus q star a okay what is a here a here is magnetic vector potential okay so iota into iota iota square iota square is minus one so minus minus plus one so h cut del theta equals to m star vs plus q star a or i can write h cut del theta minus q star a divided by m star equals to vs let this equation is equation number three now we know that js is equals to n e star into vs equation number four the value of vs from equation three so here we get h cut and del theta minus q star a divided by m star equals to js upon n e star or i can write js is equals to n e star upon m star h cut del theta minus q star a let this equation is equation number of five okay now here we have a ring okay and i assume a closed inti line integral from the bulk of superconductor okay to ye main ek closed line integral leta hu to js will be zero for closed loop l so we can write h cut del theta minus q star a equals to 0 or we can write del theta is equals to q star divided by h cut into a vector we can write in the form of vector quantity because gradient is a vector quantity okay now take line integral over the closed loop l and we are considering closed loop l that's why we are putting js equals to zero if we do not consider the closed loop then we cannot put js equals to zero okay so here we go del theta dot dl vector is equals to k star upon h cut a vector dot dl vector okay now using stokes 
theorem stokes theorem or we can say stokes curl theorem we can write a vector dot dl vector is equals to curl of a vector dot ds vector means uh, stokes theorem uh, stokes theorem says that line integral of any vector field over a closed loop is equals to the surface integral of <coughs> the curl of that vector field okay and we know that curl of a vector equals to b vector so a vector dot dl vector is equals to b vector dot ds vector equals to magnetic flux okay so put this value in equation here so we get closed loop l del theta dot dl vector equals to k star upon h cut and magnetic flux now we can understand it by two ways the first one is gradient theorem which says gradient of theta dot dl vector is equals to theta 2 minus theta 1 since here we have uh, a closed loop so it will be 2 pi okay but we can uh, take one more round and another round and another round so there uh, there may be more than one round because this is a ring if i start from here and come back to here again so it's 0 to 2 pi so total 2 pi minus 0 2 pi but if i go for an another round so it's now 4 pi so 4 pi minus 0 so basically we can write it 2 pi n okay so this becomes 2 n pi is equals to q star h cut into phi b or we can write phi b equals to 2 n pi h cut divided by q star phi b oh sorry So phi b is nothing but n h upon q star and q star is here effective charge and effective charge for electrons in superconductor is equals to 2e because here as I said earlier electrons make pair that is called Cooper pairs okay so together two charges moves so q star will be 2e so phi b is nothing but n into h upon 2e here n is some integer so i can write it like phi b equals to n phi naught and phi naught is nothing but h upon 2e because h is Planck constant and e is quant of charge so basically phi naught is a constant quantity so we can call it quanta of flux so this equation prove that magnetic flux for a superconductor is a quantized 